Morning guys, uh, I haven't recorded anything uh, to do with Koi in quite a while, so uh, I thought I'd make some videos this weekend and uh, what I want to do first up is actually have a look at some of the tossi that I selected. Uh, a while ago I had um, some Sakai babies and um, I put some of them into my, my big pond for, for growing on. Um, initially there must have been about 15 uh, fish. Um, I've slowly whittled them down and I've got left with uh, uh, a couple of Sankey and a couple of Kohaku. So uh, what we'll do now is take a look at those and just see how they've developed. Um, they came in, gosh, at about um, 12 to 14 centimeters at best, uh, somewhere a little bit smaller. I think they were undersized uh, from what the uh, initial order had uh, had said. But, but nevertheless, in October last year, they're around the 14 centimeter mark. Um, We've obviously grown pretty quickly. I think the biggest now is around about the 30 centimeter mark. So that's 15 centimeters uh, in about eight months. So pretty decent growth. But uh, um, yeah, the important thing is just to see how they've shaped up. Um, I selected on body shape. I selected on future potential. Um, we'll have to just see what uh, what is what has worked. Um, at that stage, when I put them out, you couldn't really see male or female, so it's really luck of the luck of the draw in terms of what the what the sex is of the fish. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the selection. So um, I've just bowled a kohaku, so we can take a look at uh, that one now. Okay, and there it uh, and there it is, uh, Maritain. So got a very, I think it's quite an attractive patch on the one side of the the head. Um, just looking at the body, the obvious thing is in the middle of the, uh, just the end of the dorsal, you've got uh, some breaking up of the, uh, of the color. So some of that's potentially going to go away. We'll need to see how much of that is going to stay and how clear it uh, lines up at the end. But uh, I don't think it's in a bad place for kind of where it could be down the line. The white is excellent. The red looks like it'll be really good. Very strong framed fish looks very female to me i mean i don't know yet it's hard to tell looks female loving the the white and just the shape of the fish so i'm pretty happy with that at the moment um we got to see what happens here in the uh in the middle of the fish i mean there's a bit of work to be done there especially here on the on the left hand side um but let me know if you think it's a future contender is it worth keeping what do you think i should be doing with this one I reckon comfortably 30 centimeters, so grown really nicely, Sakai Kohaku, and that's fish number number one. Okay, fish number two is also a, a Kohaku, also from uh, Sakai. I loved this fish's body shape right up when it was a smaller fish. I just loved the way that it, uh, that it looked. Uh, it's come on really nicely. Uh, looks very female to me. I mean, you can see by the bulk of it, it looks female. I think this is going to be a huge bulky fish. A um, couple of things that I'd be kind of interested to see what happens with. The one is the break here. You can see the, the, the scalation at the back end. Not so clear. I don't know how that's going to clear up and what that's going to look like later on. Still a young fish. I would say this is just over 30. Um, the other thing that uh, would worry me slightly at the moment is there's a shimmy just off the dorsal so i'd have to nick that little sucker off um i don't normally get shimmies with my uh my fish in my pond so so that's quite uh interesting that there's a shimmy there i'm just looking at the general health of the fish looks pretty decent i think the white coloration on the fish is uh is really good i think the pattern could be strong let me know what you guys think this is fish number two um big solid uh, female kohaku and absolutely looked like nothing when it was a baby so um, it's come a very long way um, I don't know if it's a show quality fish or if it's going to be a show quality fish maybe when it gets to decent size but uh, yeah it's certainly got the it's certainly got the frame and it's certainly been growing really really well and in fact what I want to do is put a video together on on fish growth because I think there's a lot that you can do to make sure that your fish grow really well and these have been absolutely um, boosted with their, their growth. And they're growing in winter, which is the interesting thing as well. Because everyone says, well, fish don't grow in winter. I mean, they absolutely do grow in winter. So my next video will be about fish, uh, fish growth. But check out uh, this guy. Really, really cool. Okay, 
And the last uh, Kohaku was my favorite when I uh, selected it out. I really, really like this, uh, this fish. It's got an obvious problem in terms of a bit of red on the left hand fin, but I didn't really mind. I just love the look of it. I love crazy patterns on Kohakus, and this one's pretty crazy. Um, looks definitely to be female. The white's not as good as the other two. So you can see the face is a bit yellower. That might come right down the, down the line. It looks like it's got a bit of netting damage on the left hand side. I hope I haven't done that now as uh, I've been working with it. Um, pattern needs to firm up quite a bit. You can see there's lots of kind of rough edging. But that's the thing is, uh, you know, with fish with complicated patterns, the reason they are amazing when they're bigger is uh, if they get it right, they become amazing because uh, there's uh, so much more work to do. So, you know, a simple fish with not a lot of edging will actually do a lot better. But when you get a fish with a complicated pattern that cleans up and actually looks amazing, um, it's unstoppable when you take it to a, to a koi show. So yeah, so this is a, a married 10 in the making. Tell me what you think about this one. I mean, clearly female. You guys think it's got potential, no potential. Of the three, one, two, or three, let me know which one you think is the, the strongest. Um, I really won't keep all three long term. I might just keep the keep the one so uh, yeah but uh, again this one is sitting over 30 centimeters which shows you what good food has done most of the growth has come in the last little while in the last couple of months and we're heading into winter so it's amazing that uh, it can put on bulk and growth uh, at this time of the year but let me know what you think of this guy okay and on to the first uh, of two Sankey so this one very clearly female had absolutely no black on it, like little specks just indicating that it would uh, be a Sankey and not a Kohaku. Uh, was a decent size in the batch of fish I got in, but completely unremarkable if you compare it to some of the other Sankeys that I had in. Here you can see the black is coming out. I always look for unfinished fish, so I don't take the finished article when it's small. Um, so for me, a Sankey that's got a hell of a lot of work to do before it gets to to size is the best thing for me. I just look for a sign that the black is dark. And as long as I see that there's black coming through and the black is intense, then it's good enough for me and I'll wait. So I've waited a long time. This one is starting to look really good. The bulk is insane. You can see this is a bulky, strong female. Nice, clean pattern. Red on the head is red on the body next year is my belief. So if it's got nice red on the head now, the body will start cleaning up uh, into next year. Lots of black coming through, so it's going to be a really good fish. I'm pretty chuffed with this. And so far, if I look at the four, I would say this is the best one of the four uh, as, we, as we go. Um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty chuffed with this. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, interesting fish. Looks female. I'll take the other Sankey out now and we can compare. Be very cool for you guys to give me a one, two, and three for the Kohaku and a one uh, and two for the, the Sankey, and then let's see which ones uh, get kept long term. This is also Sakai. Okay, wow. Uh, this Sankey has come a long way. Um, I'd only ended up keeping two. This one, uh, originally, no one wanted it. I had it in the sales ponds and. Uh, it wasn't getting pulled out because the pattern was very one-sided. You can see it's got lots of red on the one side. Big white opening on the, the left-hand side. So when it didn't have this strong black on it, uh, it wasn't looking so, so marvelous. You can see the quality of the white. It's almost shining. It almost looks gin. But clearly it's not a gin fish. Look on the, look on the face. So there was a whole lot of secondary uh, he. I'm hoping that's all going to go away. I'm sure it will. Um, as this pattern has taken uh, taken shape, but this is an incredible fish. A little bit worried about the breaking up of the the, the second step. Look at the look at the left hand side there. That's a bit messy. Um, but the sumi is unbelievable. The he looks really good. I mean, also from Sakai. This doesn't look female to me. This one looks like a male. So uh, a good long strong body for a male. I might be surprised that it might be female. But uh, at the moment, it looks absolutely like a, like a male. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know about this one versus the other one. 
You can see the sumi on here is jet, jet black. Uh, and the white is crisp, crisp, crisp. So a lot of work to do, but I mean, I prefer unfinished fish. So um, very often I'm selecting fish out after people have selected. I don't really select up front and keep a whole lot of fish. I mean, I'm bringing fish in, I'm selling fish to people when they come here. And then, uh, yeah, I end up putting them back into the, um, into the sales ponds. But the important thing for me is I, I choose an unfinished fish that I can work with and that's gonna develop and I can be you know, prior to the development that I've selected well. Um, often you find fish that are complete when they're young don't end up being absolute best quality when they're 70, 80 centimeters. And that's what I want. I want a big fish that uh, matures late. But uh, yeah, guys, tell me what you think about this one versus the last one. Um, interesting fish. Okay, so I've uh, shown you five uh, go sanki there. Uh, those are the only toss I've got in the pond at the moment from a go sanki perspective. Um, it'll be pretty cool if you help me select uh, uh, the fish to keep. At the moment, I'm not really going to get rid of any of them. I mean, I think there's potential in all of the fish enough to keep for a longer period of time. But uh, yeah, if you had to put money on uh, which one would be the best fish longer term, so which one would be a really good 70 centimeter fish? that you could enter into a koi show that would be good in a pond, uh, let me know. Let me know what you think of the quality. I mean, do you think those are decent toss Do you think they're rubbish? Uh, what do you think of them? Uh, they've all come through in the same batch from, uh, from Sakai, so they've had similar time to, uh, to grow. Uh, please like, please share the videos. Uh, if you want me to keep posting, tell me that uh, you're there and that you're enjoying the videos that get put up. Uh, it's always a good motivator for me to make more uh, uh, more videos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching.